I'm here with Dr. Craig Delavalle, who's a hip and knee specialist at Midwest Orthopedics at Rush, and we're discussing results of a recent study he conducted on partial versus full knee replacement. Dr. Delavalle, can you tell us about the study? So basically our study compared the outcomes of partial and total knee replacements, and I was at a conference with a couple of my colleagues, and we were discussing the differences between partial and total. And I think there's a perception that partial knee replacement is associated with a lower risk of complications, but we didn't really find anything that we knew of that we could reference and get up to the podium and say, partial knee replacement is associated with a lower risk of complications. So what we did was we looked at about 3,000 patients from all three of our hospitals uh, who had undergone partial knee replacement or total knee replacement, and then we compared them in the first 90 days to look at what were the risk of having some kind of problem after surgery. And the results were actually quite interesting. What we found was that overall, your risk of having some kind of problem or complication after surgery was about three times higher if you had a total knee replacement as opposed to having a partial knee replacement. And things that we found more commonly after a total knee replacement were the risk of going to an intensive care unit, the risk of a blood clot, and the risk of requiring some kind of another operation after the procedure. Uh, a couple other things that we found was that patients after partial knee replacements were more likely to go to their home as opposed to go to a rehabilitation facility and also their total length in the stay, of stay in the hospital was also less. So I think overall the risk of complications as well as the risk of, uh, as well as the time that patients have to stay in the hospital is less with a partial as opposed to a total knee replacement. And I understand this is going to be published in September. Yes, we just presented it at the annual meeting of the American Association of Hip and Knee Surgeons the first weekend in November, and it will be published in their supplement in this upcoming fall, so September of 2012. In terms of duration of the implant, how long they last, how about, um, what's the difference between partial and full? That's a great question. I think uh, a lot of patients will look at a partial knee replacement and think of it as kind of a bridge procedure, as in, well, I'll do a partial now, and then in a couple years, I'll do a full knee replacement. But we just completed another study where we looked at our results of partial knee replacements at a minimum of 15 years after surgery. And what we found is, is that when we looked at the risk of failure, that the risk of failure between a partial and a total is probably pretty similar. We found that when we extrapolated things out at 20 years after surgery, about 90% of our partial knee replacements were still working well. I think when you think about anything that you've owned for 20 years, not a lot of them are still working at 20 years afterwards. So uh, partial knee replacement for the right patient, and in, in my practice it's about 15 or 20 percent of my patients are candidates for a partial knee replacement. For the right patients, it's a durable alternative to a total knee replacement and not like a bridge procedure. And again, this, the study itself found that there were higher risks in those who have full replacement. Correct. So I think, you know, if you're the type of patient where either a partial or a full replacement may be an option. And it's very controversial among orthopedic surgeons, which is the right thing to do. I think, again, at least our results here at Rush show that the durability is very similar between the two procedures, but the risk of having a complication within the first 90 days does seem to be substantially lower with a partial as opposed to a full knee replacement. Thank you so much, Dr. Delavalle. My and pleasure. You can find out more about Dr. Delavalle at the Midwest Orthopedics at Rush website and you can log on to rushortho.com or you can make an appointment by calling 708-236-2738.